So, we were talking about why you guys thought you were getting videotaped today. Because we're going to kindergarten. kindergarten. That's right, because you're going to kindergarten. So, you're going to kindergarten. Do you know when you'll go to kindergarten? Next year. Next year, Next year. Because, because we want to get bigger and so, so we can grow on trees and stuff. Kindergarten transition in Trumbull County has been a process over several years. It started out um, just because a center had asked for information to help one of their pre-K classes get ready for kindergarten. And that one question from one center about one class really led to a county-wide kindergarten transition program this year. We had this fair at the Eastwood Mall, a kid-friendly environment that would allow families access to the information that was necessary. The program had 10 stations. Eight of them were interactive, math, science, gross motor, social and emotional, reading and language arts, fine motor, and an actual school bus where the children could climb aboard and talk to a bus driver and see what it was like to sit in a school bus. And then two informative stations, which were nutrition and health, which included understanding what type of immunizations and the other things that were necessary to register for kindergarten. It was just amazing like how many activities it was and how many different schools were there, like it really like blew me away. I didn't think, I just thought it was gonna be just one. I didn't think it was gonna be all the districts and that really caught my attention right there. We got to meet a lot of the teachers. They were very welcoming. I mean, and there was a lot, a good turnout, very good turnout. I am so hands-on. I want to, okay, well, let's like, what, what activities can we do? And it was so child-oriented. I was impressed. I made sure that I talked to all the parents that were present and I spent most of my time on the floor playing with the kids. Took them by the hand, we got on the carpet and we did sorting activities, we did patterning activities. Um, we played all these little, just little math games that you can play with your kids at home. When the kids were doing the sorting activity, it was really neat because some of them jumped in right away and really wanted to do it, but others were a little bit timid about it. So once we coax them down here, here, come play with me, we're gonna do this. Some of the kids were able to sort it in two seconds flat, and those were the kids that we took it one step farther with. We sorted it another way. Whereas some of the other kids struggled, and we actually taught them how to sort right there. We taught their parents ways that they could sort with their children as well. And I think that the parents took away how simple it is to work with your kids at home with tools and activities that you can do just with all the things that you have at your house. I went to the transition fair because I was worried my son wasn't ready to go to school for kindergarten next year. But then with going to the fair, I found out that he's really ready <laughs> because he loves his numbers, he loves his shapes, he loves doing things hands-on. And I found that out going that weekend. We had 17 public schools as well as the County Educational Service Center and two private schools. We had 22 community partners and a collaborative effort with the planning committee to help pull off this project. And really the goal of the project was to link schools, family, and community to help successfully transition each child into kindergarten. And we used the idea for the interactive stations of purposeful play how to use play to teach your child the academic skills necessary in order to attend kindergarten. The reason that this was so important in Trumbull County is because approximately 60% of incoming kindergartners don't attend preschool. So they don't receive that formal educational background to help them with transitioning into kindergarten and their families then also don't know what to expect or what to do to help them. There's also a high percentage of single moms and children from economically disadvantaged families in Trumbull County. 
because it was very encouraging to see that so many schools were involved, that so many families were coming out, and that my daughter was having the opportunity to be around other kids that she may end up going to school with, and to see her taking part in learning activities and enjoying doing it. I mean, she jumped right into every station, and she's like, okay, I want to do math next, okay, I want to do science next, and really just getting into completing these activities that were educational and learning activities. Um, that was just wonderful to be a part of. He loved the fact that he's seen Ms. Shirok as teacher because he sat down and he was doing puzzles, he was looking at the different shapes, telling me what shapes they were. He really, the most thing that he liked was seeing Ms. Shirok, I swear, because he got, he just got big starry eyes when he seen her. He's like, he, she's here. I mean, you might not see it at home because I don't see half of it at home, but what I seen there with him amazed me that he knew so much. So it let me know they have more things to help them develop a lot faster, so. Maddie is so shy, she opened up because she felt comfortable. And when Maddie can open up and actually talk to you because she's comfortable, I'm like blown away because it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Um, she is, is definitely on her way at identifying letters, writing letters out. The other day on her own, she said, Mom, how do you spell the dog's name? And, and I said it, and on her whiteboard at home, she wrote every letter. And I was so excited because I was thinking, there we are, we're starting, we're starting the process. Um, she's starting to count, and they were having you know, some of the math exercises that they had at the fair and writing exercises. And I took those, those tools home. I used it as kind of my personal checklist, I guess you could say, to say, are we, are we meeting the minimum so I know that she's going to be comfortable on that first day? I think that the transition program was very successful because there were hundreds of kids there and we had 189 families of incoming kindergartners participate in the program. One of the things that I thought was really important and powerful was that 97% of families who gave us feedback felt that the fair was helpful and taught them new things to help their child get ready for kindergarten. All of the people working together to make it happen was just wonderful. And then all of the families that were there and all of the schools that were there and just the, um, the real community atmosphere of it. Studies have shown that when the community is involved in the whole child and the parents are involved in school is involved, the child is so much more likely to succeed and really just flourish in where they're at and their program. I guess my first thought was, wow, all these parents like really care about kindergarten transition and value the importance of transitioning their kids to kindergarten and getting them ready for what's coming up next. It's scary in a way because it feels like they're growing up a lot faster. But it's actually good because I know he's going to be prepared when he actually does go to kindergarten. So I guess I just didn't realize how much of a process and how much work it is getting your child into kindergarten, knowing that there were so many steps and so many things that I needed to do um, as a parent. Even though I really thought I knew what kindergarten transition was going to be like just from all the conversations I've had over the years with people working in the field. Um, being in it myself and going through it myself with my daughter has just been a whole different experience. The purpose of kindergarten transition is to link schools, family, and community. All the research shows that children do better academically when their family is involved with the school and is involved with their education. And this was just a step or a link to help families be involved. Garden is going to be like. Like when will you have all of your same friends? Will everybody in your preschool go to kindergarten with you? No. No? What will kindergarten be like then? New friends. New friends. Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll have a new teacher? Yeah. Well, my mom's teacher's name is the Burger. Was that her kindergarten teacher? Yes. And tell me more stuff about kindergarten. I need your help because that's why we're doing this video. We need to let other kids know what it, what you guys are thinking about and when you think about kindergarten. And we need to learn our letters. 
You need to learn your letters. Uh-huh. Learn your numbers. Learn your numbers. Mm-hmm. Do you have to stay at school all day? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and you need to live your you need to leave your kids at school all day. You have to leave your kids. And at if school. you're at kindergarten, you have to leave your mom and dad at your house. You have to leave your mom and dad at your house. And okay. at work. And at work, that's right. If they work, you have to leave them at work too. Mm -hmm. Yep. If them, if them work out of school, we just need to um, let them work out of school, mm -hmm. like at the nursing school. Mm -hmm. So for Nina, you're going to go to your mom's school, huh? She's going to Lakeview. She's going to Lakeview. No, I'm not, Nina. Hey, Nina, can you look at me? Because we can't get your face on camera if you're not looking up, huh? So, you won't have your same friends. Miss Judy won't be there. Who's going to be at here? <laughs> <laughs> and the other little kids are going to be in here. Oh, so she'll have a new class next year. Uh -huh. Oh, will she? Oh, well, thank you. Mm. How do you think I'll feel when you're all in kindergarten? Sad. sad. I'll be sad, but I'll also be happy. And, and you <laughs> miss everyone. I will miss everyone, but I'll know you're having fun in kindergarten.